Sir, before I wanted to speak, sir, but now I don't want to speak, sir. Oh no, Nandesia, you are bored already. So interpret this statement for me then, Nandesia. If you are bored, I am giving you a task to do. Odd integers can be shown as the difference of the squares of two integers. What does that mean? Hello? I want I to say something. It is a story, but it is a story of a different kind. You will see. It is not a story. Doesn't seem like a story. I will make it into a story. Somebody in an ancient land somewhere sat by himself or herself in a tower and was thinking for he or she was bored to death about numbers, in particular integers. And as she was thinking in her tower, she realized that any integer that she thought of could be shown as the difference of the squares of two other integers and felt this is a wonderful thing. I am not bored anymore. But how do I know this is true for all odd integers? Is it just by chance that the numbers that I thought of are the difference of the squares of two other numbers that I thought of? Or is there some underlying mathematical elegance in this? Right? Now it became a story in Indonesia. But then some people are saying, I don't understand the statement. What do you mean by difference of the squares of two integers is an odd integer? So please tell us how to understand this. So you are making it up. Of course I am making it up. But how do you know it's not true? Um, because it isn't in writing and I know if I see that you'll write the whole story on the board. <laughs> yeah, I can make up any story. You want a story. Did I say it was a true story? Did I say it will be a, a story in the history which is which has proof and evidence attached to it? I didn't say anything like hey, that. So this is cheating. Okay, let it be. When sometimes when you cheat also, I will allow you to cheat. You have to allow me also to cheat sometimes. Now let us get the story. Get, let us get the story. We'll the answer. Let us get we'll the story. We'll cheat and write all the answers. Huh? That, of, so, course, of course you can do that because you are sitting at home. How do I know what you are doing? I'm just trusting that what you want to do is learn mathematics. So you will try it out on your own. Okay, let's so not, can you tell the story not, of Newton? Let us not waste it. Newton's story is a big story. I will tell you when you come to class 8. The whole year I will tell you Newton's story till you are bored to death. But today let's talk about this story. The story of numbers. The lonely maiden who suddenly found that she was very interested in things. As she was bored and thinking about odd integers. Sir, what does this statement mean, sir? That no is one is answering. I'm hoping one of you will tell me what it means or at least make the beginning. Okay, let us, you know what is an odd integer. Let's begin with that. What is an odd integer? An integer will Sir, be... an odd integer means it can be a negative uh, odd number or a positive odd number. Correct. I think, I think I, I have to correct that statement to say positive odd integers, but it's okay. We'll continue with this. Give me an example of odd integers, positive. One. One. Three. Three. Minus one. Positive. Let's say uh, five. five. Let's say the first. Five, five, nine, eleven, thirteen, seventeen. Oh my. Correct, correct. Nine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
now now what what i'm saying is that can any one of these odd numbers let us just simply start with one okay this is not writing well i'll change it let us take one can you show one as being the difference of the squares of two integers which means that can i show it as a square minus b square b square okay i'm just taking a and b as variables to show you things So two thousand five hundred and ninety-four squared mm. and seven thousand three hundred and fifty-three squared. We'll give you one. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't think. What is that? But that also gives an odd number, is it? But now let us look at this. How can you choose a and b in such a way that it gives one when you subtract? B from B square from A square. Sir, sir, ah. even you take five and six. Five square. Ah. ah, what what is A and what is B? Tell me that. Sir, just uh, just imagine A to be five. Okay, let us be five and B to be. Oh, sir, I understand the meaning of this sentence now. You are understanding, okay? But let us try it out. B is six. Six. Okay. So, uh, but that will not give me one. But let us leave it out for the time being. What is two, this? sir? It will give you two. Are you crazy? Five into five is equal to six. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, it will not give us two. So I did multiplication, not uh, square root. What does that give? Thirty-six. You? Six. Uh, mean nine. What? Eleven. 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 But more specifically, it will give you minus eleven. Correct. So it so happens that that is an odd number. Give me another two numbers for A and B. Sir, four and three. So I can put four sixteen and nine. Okay, sixteen minus nine. What is that? Give? Nine. Um, it's uh, uh, five. What? Sir, uh, sir, what I am saying? So it will give you seven. Okay. So seven is also an odd number. Eleven is also an odd number. So the question now is that. Is it true that whenever you take you take any number, right, and uh, you square both the numbers and find out the difference between them, will they always give you an odd number? That is the question. And in fact, the whole question was turned around in this manner: that is it possible to get to show that all integers are the difference of the squares of two integers? Okay. now there is a way in which you use something called as algebra to prove this okay but you but you haven't learned algebra yet am i sir, right sir i have learned so uh, algebra all of us do not know algebra sir even i know algebra ah uh, many of you may know but i am not saying i am saying all of us do not know algebra so an algebraic proof is possible but there is a very nice elegant proof for this which does not come from any kind of a particular branch of mathematics okay so i am going to show you that proof that's all the story is okay so to tackle the problem from another direction what we can do is we can take different odd numbers right so we we took 1 we took 3 we took uh, we took 5 actually we can take 7 we can take 9 we can take any odd number like this and what we have to prove now is that all of the odd numbers that are possible in this series in fact going to minus 1 minus 2 also that we can show that all of these can be formed by finding two numbers in such a way that if you square those numbers and you find out the difference you will get every odd number in this sequence now that is very hard 
you understand you can take two random numbers integers square them subtract them from each other and you you are getting an odd number okay it is difficult enough to prove that every such number when you square them and, and find out the difference it will show an odd number but this way is even harder still but there is one way in which this was done which i think you people will find easy to understand but let us see about that so let us take sir sec. uh it's me sailish i have a question yeah so the you did minus 1 and minus 2 minus 2 yeah. is not an odd number oh, sorry very right, right. right. sorry i should put minus 3 and so on thank you so let us take 7 Okay, so I organize seven as seven blocks. Okay, is that clear? Now I'll move three of these blocks over here. Okay, how will I do that? Did you get this? How many yes. blocks do I how many blocks do I have now? Seven. Seven. Okay. Now, does anybody have any clue what I'm going to do next? No, sir. No. Okay. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fill up the area left over. Sir, this was on a parallel dot org. Sorry. Sir, this was on parallel dot org. Yes, sir. This will what parallel? Parallel. This was on the website. You parallel website. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So some of you tried it, you know. But did you study this solution? Okay. So yes, now. Sir. It's okay. Let, let us look at this now. Those who know it, maybe I'll uh, maybe you can tell us the rest of the story. How does this give the proof that all odd numbers, all odd integers, can therefore be shown as the difference of squares of two other integers? Which two integers are now staring at your at you in the face? Not directly. But as part of the diagram, seven and nine. Seven and nine. Yes, sir. How? Sir, the ones you wrote in black. Yeah. Nine, and the ones you wrote in uh, red, seven. But how does that give us the answer to the solution? I mean, how does it give us the proof that the difference of the squares will give an odd number? In fact, we we started with seven. So somehow you have to connect this diagram to the number seven in terms of this statement. No, you don't see it. Okay. So there are. Two squares in this, okay, and I am not talking about this as a square. That is just a block. There are two squares that are there in this. What are the two squares? I have almost given away the answer now. Sir, uh, can you repeat the question? I didn't understand. So I am I am saying that there are two squares that you should be able to see now. and with that comes the answer with that comes the proof are you able to see so the 3 and half and 3 square so okay. i can see the two squares uh, which which no, are 3 and half 3 squares one is the, one is the square that is formed by the black blocks okay which is 3 times 3 so the black blocks are 3 times 3 so therefore that is 3 square Can you see another square? Yes, sir. Four by four. Ah, 
so what does the red squares form it it it's not complete four four. it's not four complete, square right but the four by four squares yeah, but the red squares alone without taking the black squares into consideration will form a square four by four sir sure, how uh without taking the black squares into consideration that is there are four over here right and there are four over here so the area of the whole thing if you just use the red squares is four square do you get that it's imaginary no, sir. Means that if you remove the if you remove the black squares then there will be only gaps there so you so you you will say that there are there is nothing over there how can you say that's a square but i'm saying the area that is occupied if you imagine a square completed by just the red squares we can call that as four square yes sir take your time but be sure you got all the points correct i think this is mathematics yes sir i think i got them you don't have to take my explanation as being the truth you can question it are you all sir so how does it prove that uh, odd integers can be shown as the difference of the squares of two integers that's the last part that's the last part so how does this i understood this part can we go to the next Uh, so the next mm -hmm. part, mm -hmm. what the question is being asked how does this prove that all odd integers can be shown as this difference of two squares i mean the difference of the squares of two other integers come on push yourself a bit we are almost there last step we are trying to okay i'll i'll say make one more statement we are trying so I got it. I got it. I got it, sir. Three plus four, sir. Three plus four is equal to seven. And the sorry, sorry, sorry. sir. Three. Uh -huh. We have to add these two numbers. It becomes seven squares, right? No, so, no, no. We can't. Then, and the no. difference is two. My Shailesh, is that Shailesh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. So first of all, if you add these two numbers, four square plus three square. you don't get seven square so oh, i put that outside the board wait if you add four square and three square it will be 25 yeah four square plus three square will be 25 which is not equal to 49 which is what seven square is but anyway that is not our uh, so that is not our question at all our question is an odd integer which can be shown as the difference of the squares of two integers what is the word difference indicate Sir, I think the subtraction. Yeah. So whoever stated that, yeah, you're almost there. Ah, uh, subtraction. Correct. So now we are trying to connect this seven with these two numbers. How? How? So seven minus three four. Seven minus three. Is equal to four. Okay. How does that prove that this statement? Sir, it's three. Sir, I think I got it. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you if you got it, tell us. Sir, I think see seven minus four is equal to three plus two. It will become plus two plus two. Then it will again become the same number seven. <laughs> But where are the squares in that? And why did we have to do all this for that? So, so that basically, is, to find out the the numbers square. No, but that, that, there is. It, it doesn't show that seven can be made obtained as a result of the difference between two squares. Come on, guys, push yourself more. Look at the statement. <laughs> Sir, you can add three square plus four square. And it will become seven square. No, that won't happen. I already tried that, and so said no. What Shailesh uh, Shailesh said? I'm not listening. Then Shailesh said exactly. Sixteen plus nine is twenty-five. How will it happen? Hmm. 
Come on, somebody get the breakthrough. Shall I say I'm not getting it? Not getting yes, it. Yes, sir. The answer is um, in front of you. The statement is in front of you. The difference of the squares. You're all adding. Yes, sir. sir. I got it. I got it. I got it, sir. Ah. Sir, look what? at the squares. One is nine. The black ones are nine, yes, and the, these are seven. And if you try them, sixteen minus nine. Ah, what does sixteen minus nine give you? Seven. Seven. Finish. So four square minus three square is equal to seven. Why? Because it is sixteen minus nine, and that is equal to seven. Ah. Sir, so I got it in the last one. Prove that it will work with every number. Ah, so that is. You sit and try for every number. We have no. We do not have enough patience to sit and try for every number. How is this a proof, right? When it is true only for one number. Okay. So, so the thing is that this step gives you the answer to that. Can you form a square like this given any odd number? Yes, sir. It will um, with every odd number we can form a square like this. Yeah, with any odd number you can. Form like from nine, it will be five and five. Exactly. So, so the five square minus four square. Exactly. So if you take, uh, if you take what number did you take? Nine, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if you take nine. Directly, it will, sir is right. You can, you can the statement is correct. Minus. Like this, right? So now, the gap that is there over here can be filled in with the black dots. I use blocks there, I'm using dots here. So this can then be written as five square minus four square. And if you wow. do that, 25, nine. 16, you get nine. Nine square. The only condition that has to be seen to it is that, is it possible to write all odd numbers, organize all odd numbers, into this kind of a block and of course that is true you can however big the number That's is right sir whether it is 9 or it is 99 you can always organize it in that way you don't have to do it every time it will be tedious to do it every sir, time sir we do not have the patience to sit for 99 dots or even squares yeah but we will not have it now you have a general rule by which you can say that every odd number it should be possible to write it as the difference of squares of two other integers. Not number, I keep saying number, I should say every odd integer can be shown as the difference of the squares of two other integers. Any, any other way in which this will not work, and if anybody can think, if you can think of even one situation in which it will not work, then you have disproved this proof. So can you think now? Disprove this somehow. So I have no way to do that. Sorry? I didn't get any way to do that. You didn't get any way to do that. I was thinking, what if I choose a negative number? Sir, what if we try it with the number one? With the number one? Yes, sir. Uh, it might fight. <laughs> it would be. One dot no, in a proof like this. Because you will get only one dot. <laughs> so, what Sharma is saying over here that what, what one it's very easy. You can just show that one is equal to one square minus zero square. <laughs> what is the world is that? 
So one is also positive. One square minus zero square is equal to one square is equal to blah. Okay. So that's the story for the day. It's the story of proof in mathematics, and that the proof does not just come from only looking at numbers. Sometimes it can also come from looking at shapes. In this case, I think it's kind of like mensuration. We are looking at the area that is covered when you form squares. Is that fine? Shall we stop here today? Yes, sir.